folks, I'm doing an unboxing video for the Behringer Euphoria UMC 204 HD audio interface. Uh, after extensive research uh, for trying to find a quality interface in my budget, um, I came across this and I think I did pretty good considering all the different reviews that I read on different websites. Originally, I found a different version of this this particular um, interface, which was, uh, I think it was the next step up from this, which was actually had four inputs. Um, and it was, that one was going for about a $99. And then they had the one lower than this, which was just one input. And I think that was going for $49.99 or $59.99 or something like that. Um, and I just kept looking around because I, thought well if they've got one with four and they've got one with one surely they've got one with two and sure enough I finally found it <clears throat> and uh, this one ran for 79 and I was trying to uh, keep my budget with it within about $150 for all the equipment I bought for the podcast and you know that included microphone microphone stand um, studio headphones and then audio interface so um, I actually met that goal I did a uh, pretty good extensive research and found that um, I figure I think that I picked up the the best product I can get for the money and uh, this one had fantastic reviews if you want to look at the box before we open it So this one has phantom power, two inputs, seem to be pretty uh, compatible with just about anything that I would ever need it for. Um, so it seemed like a very good option to start with. I like how it comes with the sticker there. This thing is very heavy. It feels very solid. So if you're looking for an audio, audio interface under $100, any of the three models that I saw are under $100. Um, it just depends on how many inputs you needed. But it feels very solid. Again, I, 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 I've read so many great reviews about this product, so I'm very excited to check this out. 
Um, but um, my goal in this whole process was to try to find equipment that was better than just some generic little podcast kit that you could buy, you know, for $60 with everything, but also wasn't breaking the bank, something that could get me started with some quality products. So I bought this and a few other things. I'm going to be doing videos on unboxing all of them. Uh, so definitely check out my other videos and uh, thanks for watching.